Good morning. Where is summer gone? Why am I wearing a gilet? Out on the road bike, which I've worn out again. So I'm on my way to the bike shop. Are you eating fried chicken for breakfast? Yeah. One of my job roles is uh, quality control, you know, so like all the vendors, you know, try the food in the morning to so yeah. make sure that it's right. Johnson. I'm all right, thanks. Metal or resin? How many do you need? Two pairs. How have you actually got brake pads? Richest man alive. Look at that. You haven't quoted me a price yet. 500 quid. Successful mission. Got some brake pads. That's what I went there for. It is now raining slightly and I've got to ride uphill into this headwind all the way home. Still nice to kick off the day out on the road bike for a bit. Plan when I get home, meet up with Ben and head over to Hamptonley, which hopefully won't be really, really muddy. Been spending a lot of time at Hamptonley recently. Feel like I'm making some real good progression on the mountain bike. And to be honest, it's helping my skills on the road bike too. Feeling very confident and at one with the bike. Mm, not gonna lie, it's pretty grim. It's spitting, you know, that fine rain fine rain that gets you really wet. Never actually ridden my road bike into Newcastle before, so managed to get completely lost on the way home. Where am I now? Who knows? So I'm in the car with Ben. We're on the way to Hamsterley, but our sat down telling us 41 minutes to get there. Dude, the two roads away, doesn't make sense. You look like you're driving very on edge. I've got stuck <laughs> behind every vehicle today. Maybe Google knows. The sat -nav That's must why it's going to take us 41 minutes, yeah. So we made it. Didn't get stuck behind any weird traffic. Ben seems, uh, seems to be making up for lost time though. Why are we riding so hard? I don't know, why are we? <laughs> I think we might be uh, off course. Yeah. We went down that real steep one from the other day where uh, Tony was reading the sign that said steep technical descent river crossing. And I thought I knew where I was. But that's why we went down it. Because now I definitely know where we are. But I definitely don't know where we are. It's just Christmas trees. Just keep going and the odds are we'll end up... Uh... Did you bring a foil blanket? It says beehives. Yeah, I could do with some, some energy, some honey. Uh, so we're quite off course. Don't really want to ride through the bees. Gonna go back the other way. Found the trails again. That was a uh, dark times back there. <laughs> He's been so miserable. Things are taking a slight turn. Thought we'd come up and do one more rep of the uh, the best trails here. In my opinion, my favourite one. Ben's uh, he's had it. Luckily, it's all downhill from here, so you're gonna make it, mate. I don't think we've ridden very far, but we've definitely ridden very far up and down. Elevation will be huge. Distance will be tiny. While he's having a little rest on the floor, I'd like to know your opinion on the GoPro footage in today's video from my chest mount. I've updated the GoPro last night, which um, was well out of date. And now I can enable a boost feature, hyper smooth boost, uh, which crops the image in very slightly. So it's not as wide as usual. So you probably can't see my handlebars and stuff as much as other videos, but it should be smoother. I don't know what it's gonna look like. You are the guys who are gonna be watching it. So let me know in a comment. Nice. Oh, He's up. He's up. <laughs>
think I hit that log. What was it? This. Make half your pedal still on that rock. Look at that, I've gone from there to there. Yeah. I stay connected. Where your bike is? Yeah. I stay connected. He's smiling. He's still got a sense of humour. It's a good sign. Maybe we should just take it easy down the next bit. That's the end of that. <laughs> well, of all the damage that could have happened. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. At least we've proved what, what I hit. There's no need to spell it out. I know we, I know we. Yeah, I'm not too bad. We ride bikes, we crash. Sit in it. Someone else crashed. Wait, I've got to ask. What is that? <laughs> this here. Yeah, what is that? So, in the 80s, when I rode a bike, there was this thing called a DCD, Dave's Chain Device. It stops your chain from rattling about when you're on trails. So today, this is a prototype which I made because the ones on eBay are like vintage expensive because they're DCDs. So I made this one out of an old um, reflector. It's just a prototype, mind. Don't go crazy in the comments. I mean, <laughs> it works. It works, it stops the chain from bouncing up and down. Is that what a DCD looked like? No, a DCD was a lot bigger and it had a wheel in it. Yeah. But yeah, Dave's chain so I device. imagine that's gonna cause quite a lot of friction, but I mean, it's mountain biking, who cares? What happened to Dave? I don't know, what happened to Dave? Dave's chain device, DCD, they were all the rage. And they were anodized.